What's going on, YouTube? And I just got back from getting my hair cut, right? And I was just talking to my barber, like, literally, like, 10 minutes ago. And she was telling me that, like, the Super Lotto, like, the jackpot or whatever, like, 40 mil right now. And I was just thinking to myself, I can't use 40 mil, you know? I don't think I like working anymore. And, um, and I haven't coded in C++, and um, I just wanted to make a program to, like, pick random numbers for me. And, like, to see if I win. And I'm going to, like, write those numbers down, like, on a Word doc or whatever, and actually play them. And so that's what we're doing in this video. So right now I'm in Visual Studios. And I'm going to just make, like, a really simple, like, C++ program. We'll just call it Lotto, Lotto Num. So, the, like, the purpose of this program is to pick random numbers. Because I've been picking them myself, and I've never won. My dad was close, but let's see if this could, this could do better. Okay. So this is just like the blank uh, C++ like uh, like file or whatever. So like I said, I haven't been coding C++ in a while. I've been doing assembly. Let's see if I still remember a little bit of it. Let's just print out my work. Get rid of this. Don't need that. And that's just say hello world. I'm gonna listen. Oh, using space STD. See, I'm told you guys I'm rusty. Alright, cool. So that works. Let me think. Um so now I want to see how many numbers like like total we can pick from. I think it was like forty something. All right. So you get six total, five one through one forty seven, and then one. That's the main. Okay. So we could do and. So then we need something for our, like I'm, I'm I'm gonna use a for loop. So this is like a counter. We'll use it. We'll use i, and then we can go int number, and then int make a number. Missing that. Let me think. So let's use a for loop. Run like that. Okay, so we could do get rid of this. We are setting i equal to zero, and then i less than I think it's five because we're picking five numbers, and then we increment i. And then I know C plus plus has like its own like random generator built in. What was it though? Do it like this. We call number equal like rand. Something like that, and then so I have a I have three monitors. So I'm just looking over here. There was going to be one through twenty-seven, but if I remember right, this goes zero through twenty-six. If I do twenty-seven, so we we'll do twenty-eight. Hmm. And I think that should be good for random. Where did I forget? Semicolon. Um, number. And we're just gonna make this like super simple. Number since we have i, i starts at zero and we're incrementing. No, it starts at one and we're incrementing it. So we could do number i. No, wait, our, i starts at zero. We could do i plus one. It's gonna say number one. And then we could do is. And this is our random number we just called. And then we can do, and oh, semicolon. So number one, so it's working. It just needs um spacing, proper spacing. Number one is, and let's get rid of this, we're gonna do that. One more space right there. Number one is 13, 15, 16, so that's working. Okay, so we could do, so this is in our loop. This is going to count five times to give us five separate numbers. And then we just need the mega number now. Mega number. And, uh, 
five number. Oh, so the numbers are one through the normal numbers are one through forty-seven, which we do forty-eight. And the mega is actually one through twenty-seven. So it starts at zero through twenty-six. So if you do twenty-seven, so it'll be zero through twenty-eight. And then that should give us that. And then you just print it. Do you could say mega number is leave a space for that, and then we can just call mega number, which we randomized from there, and we just end it. Theoretically, that should run. Okay, so mega number 41, 40, yep, so that's working. It could be, as I said, one through 47, five of those. And then the mega could be 1 through 27, one of those. So let's test it one more time. 41, 35, 46. Okay, so it's printing the same things, the same numbers each time. And I remember having a problem with that when I was in the class. I think you can use like the time of the system or whatever to like change it or like, because it's making an instance of uh, random numbers for like each instance. I don't know how to explain it. But if we do, what was it? Uh, I think it was like that. Set time to zero. That should be different. <sighs> Semicolon. 31, 31, 31, 31. Hmm. Let's see. Oh! Can be in the for loop. Just throw it right. Oop. Maybe that. Let's just make it look a little nicer. Maybe that. 10, 14, 30, 27. And that seems like that's working. And it could be from 1 through 47, which we got that. Five of those, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1 through 27, which you got that. So I'm thinking that's good. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to like write these down in a Word doc. And I'm going to play them today. I got like five extra bucks. And I'm going to play like five of them and see if like I win anything. And if I do, I'll just do like an update video. Probably not though. I'll just get a Word doc open. I want you to see I'm actually going to use the numbers that I generate. Alright, we're gonna call five of them. So if you see the like the little um, command prompt window, the, the console, whatever, I'm, these are actually the numbers: 33, 7, 39, 1, 4, and the mega I'm gonna put over here. And then I'm gonna run it like uh, four more times. Oh. Bring the word doc over here. 40, 7, 19, 44. Now those, those look weird because those numbers are small. But here's what it is. Okay. 33, 15, 3, 7, and 18. And two more times we'll run it. It's going to be 15, 18. So this one actually printed 18 twice. Which I could fix that, but I just want to make a real quick video. And that one printed them twice too. That's good. So we'll do. 29, 14, 30, 5, 12, and then we'll put them in there. And then one more time. Like I said, it's, it's a really quick program I just wrote. Twenty seven, twenty eight, sixteen. Once again, we're putting them twice. Alright, this one's good. Probably won't win anything, but still fun. Okay, 
And I'll just save this. Uh, I'll just put it on my desktop. And I'll actually play today. And I'll make an update if I win. Probably won't, but it's good to get back into C++. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys.